TRS Motivation presents 12 bad personality traits that can actually be good. It is presenting a different perspective on personality traits. By discussing the 12 bad personality traits that can actually be good. The article highlights that we tend to focus on either the positive or negative traits of a person. But things are not always black and white. The following bad personality traits might actually be good for us to have. The first bad personality trait that can be good is being messy. While many people associate messiness with laziness and lack of productivity, studies have shown that people who live in clutter are often highly creative and risk-taking individuals. Secondly, being selfish can be a good thing. People-pleasers are often stressed out and spend their lives feeling resentful or continually seeking praise for all that they do. Being a little selfish can greatly Reduce stress since you can take better care of yourself mentally and physically. Thirdly, egotism is a good thing. It means that you have solid confidence in yourself and that you have a sense of self-satisfaction. You are comfortable in your own skin and feel quite capable. Fourthly, being shy is viewed as a weakness by most people. But shy people have their strengths. They tend to be more reflective and observant than outgoing people and are often better listeners. This makes them in high demand in today's workplace due to their productivity, thoughtfulness, and creativity. Fifthly, being distractible can make it hard to focus on tasks. However, it can also help you be more creative. When you aren't focused, you consider a broader range of information and think more outside the box. Sixthly, having a healthy amount of cynicism is quite a good thing, as it keeps you from being the Victim of scams and frauds which are so prevalent in today's day and age. Seventhly, neuroticism, which refers to tendencies to respond with negative emotions to threat, frustration, or loss, can help you stick with something and persevere until the very end, making it one of the most important traits of highly successful people. Eighthly, being sensitive means you have a difficult time with criticism but it also makes you sensitive to the feelings of others. You are more empathetic than others. And being able to put yourself into someone else's shoes is a valuable skill to possess. Ninthly, having a healthy dose of pessimism can help you plan for potential problems and ultimately avoid them. Thinking about everything that could potentially go wrong can help. You come up with all of the cons, while everyone else is only thinking of the pros. Tenthly, being lazy often means that you belong among the inventors and innovators. You spend time trying to discover easier ways to get things done and are also quite good at finding ways to get paid for the things you actually enjoy doing. Lastly, being a know-it-all can be beneficial as long as you aren't an obnoxious jerk about it. People who are always looking to learn new things and share their knowledge are often the most successful people in the room. In end, these bad personality traits may not be as bad as we once thought, and they may even be beneficial in certain situations. It's all about perspective, and we should embrace our personality traits and use them to our advantage. Do you have any of these bad personality traits? Tell us how you use them to your advantage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. For weekly videos like this, hit subscribe.